Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel once again here for the off-grid homestead and the new off-grid house I'm building and uh, everything else. If you guys are seeing these my videos for the first time, you might want to check out my other videos so you guys can catch up on my progress and where I'm currently at. Um, so basically, I have, a, I have another project, guys. Um, I'm starting up here. Um, we just bought a um, golf cart yesterday. A used golf cart not brand new or anything uh, we don't need brand new out here it's a ranch it's just gonna get <laughs> destroyed anyway at some point right um but we got a um golf cart and um we just bought it yesterday um we got it up to the ranch uh, i came with the charger we charged it and stuff and then um what i'm gonna end up doing guys is gonna turn it into a solar powered golf cart and i know i'm not the first person to do it there's a bunch of people on youtube that's already done it i've seen um but um that golf cart is a 48 volt golf cart and um you know guys i got solar panels right so they're, they're like my um my father's asking me for help to try to help convert the the golf cart into solar power uh you know solar power uh so that way we don't have to depend on um plugging it in and charging it you know what i mean if you can just sit out in the sun and charge while it's out there then great right um so it's and it's not like it's going to get used every single day anyway you know it's going to be one of those things when you need it you need it when you don't you don't you know so um what i was looking at is since there's a 48 volt golf cart i'm going to need a 48 volt voltage to charge that right with with some amperage so here's those two 100 watt solar panels i bought for my solar powered um base station for the internet way out there i'm still i still got that project going on too guys uh, I got the 50 watt solar panel that was originally on there in my home right now. I just connected it. Um, right now I'm just trying to, I still got to dig up some steel so I can, um, I got steel laying around someplace. I just got to dig it out of the grass, I think. I, I know I got some someplace. Um, but I still got to make the frame for this, you know, for that solar powered base station. And these are 100 watt panels on 12 volt panels, basically, right? Actually, they're at like 17.4 volts when, you know, whatever. But, well, my point is, is that, um in order to charge that 48 volt golf cart we're going to need three panels because there's just no way that you can get 48 volts out of two panels right um unless like for my new home my new home i don't have 12 volt panels my new um solar panels for the new house here the ones i got in my um my um work van over there where all my goodies are um in right now um those each one of those panels is 235 watts each you know for my new house right and the voltage on those are actually above the 24s you know they're not a 12 volt panel they're the voltage is way higher um so for my new house i'm going to be probably running 150 volt to the charge controller then from the charge controller it'll bring it down to the 48 volt that i need to charge my battery bank right so technically i could take two of those really huge panels and throw it on top of the golf cart but i think that's going to be overkill because those panels are huge the panels are taller than me <laughs> you know what i mean they're they're freaking massive panels so i'd hate to go in, i'm not going to use my house panels for that project but you know like i know you can buy different voltages for panels right so considering i don't want to go and buy those panels to make it work what i'm going to end up having to do is run three of the 12 volt panels and then wire them up so that way i can get a uh, 52 volt charge going on to my 48 volt battery bank right so um technically i think what i'm going to end up meaning is three of these three of these connected together going to give me my voltage i need and the amperage then we just got to make a makeshift frame above the solar panel i mean above the golf cart to mount all of these so i'm not going to give these up for that project because i need this for my solar power base station for the internet but you know since i got them here and you know i can see the specs on the back of them and all that good stuff you know it's a good time to kind of get your head wrapped around you know my next project <laughs> so um yeah if you guys have any insight on if you guys have done this already or if you guys have experimented with like different panels to keep the your golf cart charged and stuff like that you know because i've never charged a golf cart off solar you know what i mean but it's nothing different than charging it from the wall you just got to make sure that you have enough voltage and amperage going into that battery bank to keep it charged right so um yeah and i mean like a charge controller of course and all that good stuff right so yeah i think my um what I'm going to end up having to do is use three of these panels or I could use two 100 watt solar panels with a 50 watt solar panel 
then that would be 250 watts of power um, going into the golf cart batteries for the golf cart. So um, either either there or there, you know what I mean? Like you can always add more or less, you know. Um, but if I can get away with two 100 watt panels and just throw a 50 watt panel on there to hit the the voltage that I need, um, then I might be okay. But then again, too, the the amperage might be a little bit too low to keep those batteries charged. So um, we'll see what happens, guys. If you guys have any experience or uh, if you guys know somebody besides somebody on YouTube, I mean, I've looked at a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people got different setups. You know, some people got like three panels. Some people got like, you know, one big panel, but then it takes a lot longer to charge because the way it's set up and, uh, you know, there's different voltages for different golf carts too, different brands. Some are 36 volts, some are 48 volts. So, you know, there's a lot of the variables. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, if you guys have any insight on that, um, on setting up a solar-powered um, golf cart, I'd, be, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, you know, I'm always listening to a lot of the comments and the people that subscribe to me and stuff. So, um, it'll be very interesting when we get ready to do that project. Uh, it's got a bit of frame, mount this on top of there. Uh, I mean, not these. I'm not going to use these. This is for my other project, but um, I can easily get more solar panels. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I think the best solution is probably going to be three of these. You know what I mean? Because then it'll be 300 watts of solar power going into that battery bank with a charge controller. And I think that might just do it. You know, the last thing you want to do is, uh, you know, don't, you know, it's always better to put more than less, right? So I don't want to go and put, um, you know, too little of power going to it. And then, you know, I'm just redoing work. I'm removing wiring, I'm removing a panel, expanding the frame to accommodate another panel when it might just be better just to go ahead and throw three 100 watt solar panels on there, wire them up so that way I get my 52 volts that I need to charge the battery and um, see how it works and go from there. And I also gotta make sure I get a charge control that can handle the, the voltage and the amperage correctly. So that way we don't overcharge those golf cart batteries and all that good stuff. And um, I believe these solar panels, not all solar panels, but these, these ones here have the diode in it. So at least at night, it won't drain the battery. You know, or if it's a really cloudy day, it'll only allow power to go one way and not back the other way. So, yeah, if you guys have any experience with those um, solar-powered um, golf carts, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you guys have tried it, um, how well they work, um, how long does it take to charge up with just the solar panels. Uh, I know a lot of variables, sun, clouds, all that good stuff. But um, it would be interesting to see what's going on with that because I'm going to be buying more panels for that project. So... Um, you know, if there's a better way to hook it up to keep a nice charge on a golf cart like that, then I'd hate to go and buy something that I really don't need, right? Um, but considering that I charge golf cart batteries all day long for my house, I charge my house up with golf cart batteries, right? Um, you know, but I got 1100 watts of power going to it, right? Plus the wind turbines. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much different. I just think 300 watts would probably be just fine. I mean, the more would be better, right? But I think 300 watts would, would do just fine. I think so. Anyway, guys, I just want to post that this quick video here. See what you guys have to say. Maybe you guys have some experience, and I can, you know, I, you guys learn from me. I learn from you. We all learn from each other. You know, nobody knows everything, and it's always good to get experience from other people that have tried it or whatever it may be. You know, and so um, that's what it's all about. I always get questions for, from a lot of you people that, you know, that you know, ask about my this, my that, my this, my that, and I do my best to get back to you guys and answer the comments. You know, um, but you know, guys, I'm I am super busy. You know, not only do I have all these projects going on. But, you know, I'm, I'm busy full-time during the day, I mean, during um, the work week. So, you know, if I don't get back to your comment right away, um, please be understanding that, you know, I am a busy person and I am trying my best to get back to you guys, you know. Um, but um, anyway, guys, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think and um, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Have a great day.